Is your fiancé definitely not coming home early from work? No, this Dom John works around the clock in his hospital. Who is this man, Mommy? It was John's vile daughter from his first marriage. Molly, why are you still awake? Mommy, why was this man hugging you? I couldn't let this stupid girl ruin my wedding with John. What man? There is no one here. Over there, in the corner, behind your back. I don't see anyone. Maybe it's a ghost. You shouldn't tender a ghost. It can hurt us. Molly cried and ran to her room. <laughs> if she constantly sees a ghost, John won't find out that I'm really your lover. It's high time to get rid of this little toad. <laughs> Since then, I decided to scare the girl every time John was at work at the hospital. My lover hid in the nursery closet and came out of it at night. Come here, baby. Molly was so scared that she couldn't even scream. Soon the child closed herself off and almost stopped talking. She was silently drawing creepy pictures all the time. John immediately noticed that something was wrong with his daughter. Sweetheart, what kind of monster did you draw? What happened? Are you afraid of someone? The ghost from the closet wants to hurt me. John stooped up and opened the closet, which was empty. Molly, no one's there. But the girl was not convinced by that. She kept on crying. <laughs> Darling, what could scare Molly so much? I was prepared for this question. She's been acting very strange lately. Perhaps the death of her mother is affecting her. Look after her. I'm so worried. But as soon as John left for the night shift at the hospital, my lover scared Molly again. <laughs> Honey, the girl already believes in ghosts. Maybe it's time to stop? No, John has to send her to a mental hospital. When my fiancé returned from work, I was frightened and in tears. <laughs> What's happened? Molly, she... John immediately ran into her room and saw the burnt closet. His daughter was sitting in the corner of the room with matches. Molly, honey, it's good you didn't get hurt. John, she set fire to the closet. I barely had time to put it out. The ghost has driven her crazy. She's becoming dangerous. John had no idea that I was responsible for all this. You have to take her to the hospital. For us and our child. I handed John a fake positive pregnancy test. And this was the last straw for him. You're right, honey. I'll do it for our baby. In the morning, John packed all of Molly's things and took her to a mental hospital. In the car, he didn't lose hope of getting Molly to talk. Honey, describe this goes to me. What does he look like? Molly didn't respond to her father's words, but when the car stopped at the traffic light, the girl suddenly started crying. Dad! Ghost! There he is! My lover was crossing the road. Molly recognized him right away. Furious, John returned home. Honey, did you take her there already? So fast? Yes, I took Molly to a safe place. Now, it's your turn to leave. John opened the door and I saw the suitcases. What does this all mean? 
I do not understand. The wedding is cancelled. I won't let anyone hurt my daughter. But I'm pregnant with your baby. This is your baby too. John took out the pregnancy test and erased the second red line drawn by me. I won't buy your lies anymore. Go away! Before I could say a word, John closed the door. My lover and I were completely deprived of money. And instead of getting married, I had to work hard. Never hurt those who love you. One day, they'll find out the truth and hurt you.